The book that I have for this report was Changes at Heal by Dr. Henry Cloud. It was a very timely book in the season of my life. It wasn't just an assignment, but it really ministered to my heart and showed me things that I really need to work on and things that God is wanting to do in my life and that I should allow Him to do um, because His plans are better than my plans and what He wants to do is are always good things and he, everything He does is out of love. And so I really enjoyed reading this book and learning. And I know it's a book that I will continue to go back and read on in the future and maybe just in the next coming weeks. But the author of something that he really talked about it emphasizes that through our lifetime, we all experience four major issues. And one of them is learning how to bond with, a, with God or others, learning to build relationships, um, learning to solve problems, whether good or bad, and also learning to become an adult and just allowing God to heal and bring healing into our lives. And the way he says that we can obtain healing is by, allow, by combining God's grace and God's truth together and allowing God to take us through that process that will take time um, to receive that healing because everything that God does is out of love and is to not harm us, but, or hurt us, but to heal and restore us and to um, make us grow. And he encourages everyone to receive that healing, to seek healing, to seek God, um, in order that we can become people who bear fruit, but not just any kind of fruit, but good fruit, and bear fruit that bears the image of God, that reflects his love, his mercy, his kindness, his forgiveness, and reflects those attributes of God um, in our lives that we can be able to be a blessing to others by and the, the other thing he kind of emphasizes the, of why we need to reflect that to others is that we don't reflect that false healing where it's like you know a, kind of like an image that we try to put that to people that we're okay that we're doing fine when God really wants us to completely be healed from those things in our life those things that have hurt us that we may move forward in the plans he has for us that we can be able to grow in a relationship with others and encourage others to seek that healing as well so that we can be restored um, to that image of God that was lost and broken because of the fall of man and because of sin entering humanity. But that, you know, just we, that we can receive that healing. So, and two things that I really learned and really kind of grasped and want to improve and better in my life is learning to put down those defense mechanisms because he, the author talks about the defense mechanism that sometimes we put or kind of like this wall that we put against um, others, against ourselves and against God when it comes to building relationships. Um, and I know that's something that I've struggled with lately is when I go through something hard or when I go through something difficult, sometimes I just put that wall up because I feel like people don't care what I'm going through or people are not concerned or I don't want to burden people or sometimes I'm just simply afraid to trust people and open up and be vulnerable to people and share what I'm going through, what I'm struggling through. But he encourages us to put those defense mechanisms down and, the, and just kind of open up to people and learn to be, not just any people, but to write people, to seek mentorship, to seek counseling to see, you know, godly people and godly friendships that will encourage us, that will push us to become better people. And also that if we continue to have those walls, um, where yes, we are going to protect ourselves from being hurt from others, but we're also going to lose opportunity of learning to be loved by others, learning the good things that, you know, relationships bring. And the other thing that I really learned and that I want to, um, can do in my life or begin to change is um, not going through the shortcuts. He mentioned a proverb saying that the longest distance between two points is the shortcut. Because sometimes I want things done fast and I want God to heal me fast from like one night to the next or um, just do everything fast, like you know, like the like microwave status. But it's there's things that God wants to do that are, that are going to take time. And I know there's a lot of things to see right now in my life that need to take time. And it's just learning to trust God through the process. Learning to trust God's will over my will. And knowing that He has better and greater plans for my life than I can imagine.